All right, let's add some loops to your project, but not Fruit Loops. Although I am hungry now. All right, we're moving on to the track editor for MIDI, and we're going to focus in on one thing at a time within this track editor. Now we're going to look at the pitch for MIDI and see what it can do for us. Now the pitch is obviously within the track editor window. If you don't know how to access that again, that's this guy little right here. Just click on that guy, little scissors, and it opens up the window. Okay, so once we have our window open, uh, we want to make sure we're on the correct track that we're on. And um, in the track editor, it does give us a little preview of what it is. It says blip side, and that is this track up here, which is the correct one that I want to focus on. Uh, let's take a look or take a listen at the entire song really quick. Okay, so we still have our same uh, synth song up. Now, since we're gonna do pitch for just one instrument, let's just go ahead and solo that instrument by hitting the headphones right here. Okay, all the other instruments get grayed out. And let's just play it back to make sure it is soloed. Okay, sounds good. Now, let's get down to it. The pitch. Really what this does is however high I want to transpose the pitch, it automatically does it with just one slider. So I don't necessarily have to move my notes up on the piano roll. If I want it to be higher, I can simply just slide it up with the pitch. Now there's pros and cons to that way of transposing because really the way I think of pitch is it's still the same keys you know these three notes that you're playing it's still the same notes it's just the pitch is um, being synthetically pushed up to what you want and to me that's just like a different type of sound it gives a different sound so I would use pitch for um, I guess more for like an effect or more for I'm trying to attain some type of sound within that instrument and within the same notes. If I were really uh, trying to transpo transpose notes, I would actually move these notes up, which I'll discuss a little bit later on in uh, other videos. But let's take a look at the pitch. I'm gonna slide this up to, I don't know, let's, well actually let's play it one more time within the correct pitch of zero. Okay, so you hear how that sounds, and let's slide it up to, uh, let's say, 31. Let's play it now. Okay, let's slide it down to negative 31, complete opposite. Now that just sounds horrible, but it does give you the idea of the extremes, and to quickly go back to zero, all you have to do is hold option on your keyboard and just click on the pitch and it snaps right back to zero. So that's it for the pitch within the track editor. So please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any requests, please send them to request at mahalo.com. Told me that you